Hello, we are Team 16 Halves and we present to you our company, Vigitech LLC, whose corporate offices are based right here in sunny St. Petersburg, Florida. Again, we are Team 16 Halves and we consist of the following people. Amanda Tran, Nicholas Tran, Samantha Wilson, Hudson McCullough, and Michael Ciani. We are taking course MAN 3025, Principles of Management, and our professor is Professor Diazio. We are pleased to present to you our episodes of what is going down at Pigitech LLC, again, right here in sunny St. Petersburg, Florida. We hope you enjoy our television show. The topics discussed during the TV storyline will be based on managerial ethics, implementing a code of ethical conduct, as well as whistleblowing. Managerial ethics is the study of morality and standards of business conduct. Ethics must begin at the top of an organization in order to be successfully practiced by the organization. A code of ethical conduct is a formal settlement that outlines types of behavior that are and are not acceptable. In order to successfully implement a code of ethical conduct, an organization must communicate, provide training, and offer rewards and recognition. Whistleblowers must also be protected. These are employees that disclose illegal and unethical conduct by others in their organization. These will be the main topics discussed throughout the storyline. Target Market the target audience is business employees and students between the ages of 20 and 30. This target audience has been selected because there are currently no TV shows directed at youth business students. The setting is St. Petersburg, Florida, usually within the Fidget Tech building. This setting will be perfect for a business themed TV show in which the target market should be familiar with show summary. Because fidget spinners are becoming such high demand in society, Fidget Tech LLC has been vigorously manufacturing and enhancing their products, therefore increasing their earnings. George Russell, the new CFO and accounting department manager, saw the vigorous increase in sales as an opportunity to treat himself by furnishing his own home. He believes that the enormous amount of spending will go unknown as he tends to bring in breakfast for his colleagues and is one of the best players on the softball team. But it wasn't long until accounts payable specialist Dara Brown caught on to the suspicious activities. Our next character is Brian Doyle. He is the accounts receivable specialist at Fidget Tech. He is a high school graduate with some community college experience. He has no leadership ability and has never desired to be a leader. He's not very motivated and is uh, pretty lazy. He has a girlfriend, but he seems to act single around everybody else. Dara Brown is an experienced accounts payable specialist. She started working for Fidget Tech right when the company started. Dara was promoted to a supervisor because of her good work ethic. She is a good leader that is very hands-on and frequently worked alongside her employees while in production to get a better idea of what they needed. After being promoted to accounting, she quickly excelled and became a valuable asset to the company. She is five foot, slightly overweight, loves to cook, and very involved in children's lives. Meet George Russell. He is the newly hired CFO for Fidgetech LLC. He's in his mid-30s. He's very competitive, can't stick with one company for more than five years, so he won't get caught doing anything wrong. He is very well liked in the company. He is tall, slim, and charming. Jackie Johnson. She is the human resources manager for Fidgetech. She has been with the company for a few years. She's a college graduate, 30, and loves to talk about her life, family, and cats. She expects the best from herself and from those around her. 
She leads by fear and intimidation, but still believes she is well-liked and respected around the company. Our last major character is Patrick Erickson. Patrick is a staff accountant assigned to complete the audit at Digitech. He is experienced, intelligent, and has worked at for cost representatives for over 20 years. He is very experienced and knows all the tricks people use to hide mistakes and can easily spot signs of fraud. He's very friendly, but when it comes to work, he's extremely serious. He's in his 50s, pretty tall and thin. He also has a CPA license that he's had for over three decades. Welcome to episode one. Monday morning, everyone comes into work. George brought in bagels for the office and everyone is talking about the softball game from Saturday when they beat the Spacely Sprockets. George gives Dara and Brian assignments to work prior to going to his office to work on reports for the president. Dara thanks him for the bagels and he makes a joke about, well, that's what company credit cards are for. Later, we meet the HR director, Jackie Johnson, when she comes to chat with the office. We close the episode showing George having dinner with his wife, Dara playing with the kids, Brian at the bar, and Jackie with a cat in her lap. Episode 2. Later in the week, George as usual is in his office. Dara's at her desk looking at the bank statements from the previous month. She discovered checks written for large amounts that are not logged on the check register. She brings this to George who apologizes and tells tells her that he wrote the checks for his company credit card. Dara accepts this and goes back to her desk. A while later, Dara goes and storms into George's office, waving his credit card bill in the air. She is yelling about unauthorized purchases and stealing. George yells back and an argument ensues. Dara storms out again and leaves the office. The episode ends with Dara in Jackie Johnson's office. Episode 3. We now introduce Patrick Erickson, the auditor with over 30 years of CPA experience. He's able to skim through receipts and anything necessary to find where the bottom line has gone. We find him in a conference room looking at different reports and making notes. Next, we see him and Dara going over reports, scratching their heads and, and agreeing with each other. And finally, Jackie joins the group. All three of them come to a conclusion and head straight to George's office to confront him. George tried frantically to explain what he did, but to no avail. There's arguing, there's shouting, but eventually Jackie explains how unethical his behavior has been and he is escorted out by company security immediately. Dara is thanked for her hard work and diligence, and the group gives each other a high five and congratulations for the fraud that they have now uncovered at Fidgetech Inc. We hope that you've enjoyed watching and learning about Fidgetech LLC. We're the company who is responsible for making the latest craze that's sweeping the nation, those fidget spinners you see everywhere, and especially at 7-Eleven. We hope that you've enjoyed learning more about the characters of this of this uh, highly successful company. George Russell, who's the CFO, Dara Brown, the accounts payable specialist, Brian Doyle, who really doesn't really want to get ahead at Fidgetech, Jackie Johnson, the human resource representative, and Patrick Erickson, the experienced CPA who was able to cut through the crap and find out what was going on with the money at Fidgetech Inc. Fidgetech LLC, excuse me. On this last slide, we just want to go over the things that were brought to our attention, uh, aspects of managerial ethics, the code of ethical behavior, what's acceptable in the workplace, ethical conduct, right or wrong, and ultimately protecting the whistleblowers, those who are brave enough and bold enough to speak up for what's right. Please stay tuned to more exciting episodes and the things that are going down at Digitech LLC.